It is a welterweight matchup between Damian Maya and Kamaru Usman. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot come. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. Devastating a grappler as we have seen in the UFC. You fight Damian Maya, it makes for a most suffocating night at the office. Here is the former UFC middleweight title challenger and welterweight contender, Damian Maya, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world champion and one of the most talented Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts to ever step foot inside this office. Damian Maya may very well be the very best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu artist in mixed martial arts, and he has proven that time and time again by submitting some of the elite fighters in the world, both at 185 and at 170. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Smirgliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a bumper of a time for Rana, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! All right, green people rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. And with that, we are underway from the United Center here in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. Maya gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Watch the shot, Joe. Oh, he clipped him. Rock him, sock him out of the shoot here. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the butt. Beats a jab there. And he looks for the takedown. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Kamaru Luz. And now is where things could get really interesting. He's going after a submission here. Let's see if he can pull it off. He's got that armbar locked up. 
He's trying to finish it now. Oh, we're getting to finish here. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. A beautiful job in setting up this arm bar. Excellent technique. Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. And here we see it again from another angle. Isolates the arm, locks it in, and forces the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Damian Maia! All right, so another big win for the UFC welterweight champion, Damian Maia. Fighting that guy in any building, any venue in the world, it just makes for an absolutely suffocating night at the office. And Maya was at his suffocating best here tonight as he retains his UFC welterweight championship. I want to thank you all for watching that UFC simulation. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to give us a like. Um, we've got loads of more stuff on here. We've got career modes, ultimate team, pack openings, and also the podcast as well. So if you enjoyed any of that, click one of the links, hit that little subscribe button right there, and go check out all, our, all, all of our other stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. This has been the MMA Tech YouTube channel. Cheers.